Hey guys, it's summertime. It's so hot here in Texas. So I'm pretty sure some of you guys will be heading to the beach soon this summer. So I wanted to do a what's in my travel beach beauty pouch. So I fit everything in this cute pouch that Jen Mij Muse got me when I was visiting her in Korea. Thank you. We have matching bags. So you guys know we went to Cancun back in March for our anniversary, wedding anniversary trip. But we're going back in a few weeks. I think I kind of overpacked the first time. I ended up not using like half the things that I took. Like I took a lot of makeup and stuff. So now I know exactly what I'll be using, exactly what I need. So I was able to actually fit everything in here. So let's get started. I want to show you this inside. There's like this pouch here where you could carry um, makeup brushes, but I'm not taking any with me this time, not even one. So I'm just going to take out one by one and show you guys what I'll be taking with me. And yes, I did dye my hair dark, back dark. Um, it's not like pitch black, uh, it's, it's kind of reddish in the sun. So I think I look better dark, don't you? So the first product is this Horasu Hydro Aid Moisturizing Soothing Cream. And I recently started using this and I love it. So I'm taking this baby with me. You could use this morning and night. You could use it in the daytime um, before you apply your makeup or you could apply it at night, like use it as a night cream. So right now I'm using it as a night cream. I remember when we went to Cancun a few months ago, my face was so dry because it was always out in the sun, it was always out in the pool, in the water. So yeah, my skin was going through a lot. So I just took like a regular lotion with me and I remember my face was like so dry. So this time I'm taking this because it's more hydrating and moisturizing. I'm pretty sure Mexico is a lot hotter now than back in March. So I'll probably use this as like a morning, like a day and night cream while I'm there. A lot of the Korean um, skincare products like the creams come with this kind of spatula. It's really, really lightweight. Feels super hydrating, as you can see on my hands. Next product, this is the Premier Cleansing Foam Natural Rich Broccoli Sprout. We have featured this in my monthly favorite for which one, but um, this has broccoli sprout in it, olive oil. It uh, moisturizes and has calming effect and it prevents the dry feeling after you wash your face, um, takes away impurities and makeup residue. It creates a really nice lather. It's very gentle on the skin. Great for those that have sensitive skin. So this has been working really well for me and I have um, acne prone combination. After I wash my face with this, my face doesn't feel dry at all. So this time I'm not taking any foundation. I'm actually going to take one baby cushion. I'm still trying to debate which one I should take, the Hanyul one or the Laneige one. I've been using this for a while. I actually used this when I was in Bali and Singapore, and you guys know it's super hot and humid there. So this has worked really well for me when I was there. So I know um, it will work great in Mexico. Sun cream, this is the LAF, it's a Korean brand. Um, sun cream, SPF 50. And um, this is made for those that um, have dry skin or blemished skin, like acne. So uh, I've been using this as like a daily sun cream whenever I go out. So this is really lightweight. It's not thick, like some sunscreens out there. And it just feels like a lotion. It's not greasy either. And it's pink. Um, for my body and whenever we go to the beach, I um, put on the Neutrogena sunblock. It's downstairs actually, it has a lot more SPF than this. So I just put that everywhere on my face, but I just use this whenever um, we like head out to the pool or we go out to dinner. I have my contacts, I do wear the daily lenses from Acuve. Is that how you say it? Uh, I, I have to take a lot more since these are daily wears. I can't swim with my glasses and if I don't wear contacts, I can't see anything. Last time I actually took two powder blushes with me. I don't know why I took two. Um, but this time I'm just taking this with me. This is the Benefit Dandelion Dew, the liquid version. Gorgeous color, my favorite. Um, I actually have the powder version on right now. And I feel like this is a lot more pigmented than this. 
Neosporin in case um, I get hurt or the kids get hurt or Aiden. So this is um, safe for the kids. Taking two, just a sample version of like Korean toners since I don't want to take my huge bowel thumb toner. So I just threw this in there. Um, this is the Shurumura cleansing oil. I've tried a lot of different cleansing oils out there, but Shurumura, I will have to wait that number one. Now what's left in here is my makeup. This is all I'm taking. So this is the Can Make um, Concealer, Mixing Concealer. Very high coverage, stays put and doesn't um, get into fine lines. My eyelash color from Shiseido. And these are mostly waterproof stuff since I'll be getting wet and I'll be sweating. So of course I have to take the Kiss Me Mascara Long and Curl. Uh, this is the Panilla Co Liquid Liner. Fine tip, doesn't smudge at all. This is the Aritam Fillmore, also my favorite. It's what I have on my lips today. It's matte and it's very long lasting. This is the Sand Dune from Bobbi Brown. I use this as a base color. It's just a cream shadow and it's what I have on my lips today as well. So the cream products for me stays on like all day. And I'm just taking a, like a brown stick shadow. Two. So I'm just going to take one dark cream shadow stick with me in case I want to look um, good for dinner. I'll just apply a little bit on the outer corner. This is the Anastasia Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. It's what I use today to fill in my brows. Um, this is the Etted House number no. five shimmery color to line my inner corners. Panilla Co Triple Wonder Auto Gel Liner. This is also waterproof. This is my third one that I'm using. Doesn't smudge at all. I use this to line my eyes sometimes and also to tight line. Last, just a tint, red tint, and then this also has a lip gloss on the other side. This is from Tosonga. While I'm there on days that I don't want to wear makeup but I look super dead, I'll just put a little bit of this on my lips and I'm done. So that was all the things that I'll be taking with me to Cancun. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.